you feel about living in a, having a blended family and having two, how was that for you? Having now two dads, you know? Hey y'all. Hi. Welcome back to our Hi. channel. I'm Katrina. I'm Zaria. I'm Jovi. <laughs> and today we're doing a little mukbang with the kiddos. Honestly, I really didn't know what this mukbang was gonna be about, so I put some I put a poll out there on Instagram. I told you to ask me some questions. Let me help. Let me fix it for you. Let me write it out for you. So we're just gonna do this and answer questions and everything. So y'all, I got cloud glasses. I look love with them. I look great. Cause cloud glasses, everyone looks better with cloud glasses. You wanna try them? Gucci. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Oh, you you got cloud glasses too? Your nose running is spicy. Hold on, let mommy take all the spicy off. As I know, Charles is not here right now, so I'm like, look, I gotta get, I gotta uh, keep this thing going. I gotta keep talking to my people, cause if not, they're gonna be like, where y'all at? What y'all doing? I, I know that Charles and I have talked about us moving to, to Atlanta, but we never asked the girls. I don't think that Zoe can actually answer this question, but Zaria, how do you feel about the whole move to Atlanta? I mean, I, I like it, cause like a new place, to start over on life. I think starting over, even if you weren't in a bad situation, I think start overs are like really good for people so that they get new experiences and stuff. So I like it, but I'm also like really sad cause I'm leaving my school and guess what? The year I leave is the year that my school decides to take everyone in high school to Beijing. Yeah, I'm kind of sad and jealous about that because my old school, well my school is now, but be will be old school. They're going to Beijing, so yeah. But um, and I'm also gonna miss my friends and my family that's down here too. Over. So how do you feel about moving to Atlanta? Um, yes. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. So how do you? Hey, mommy. Huh? So how do you move to Atlanta? Okay. So how how do I move in Atlanta? I don't. Oh, that's mine. I don't know how I move in Atlanta, baby. Hmm. We're gonna find out. Zoe, you're the only one that haven't seen a new house. Are you ready to go see the new house? Mm-hmm. She's mm -hmm. not chewing it up and spitting it out. You gotta swallow that. You gotta bite it. You gotta bite it, then you gotta mm -hmm. You gotta swallow it. Mm -hmm. How old are you now? Um four. No. Two. No. Three. Three. Mm-hmm. How old am I, sister? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, we got some good numbers going on here right now because I am exactly 20 years older than Zaria and 30 years older than Zoe. So Zaria is 13, Zoe is three, and I am 33. Look at all them threes. <laughs> hey! It's the most noise I would get is like me looking at my fingers and you chewing. Am I chewing out? And Zoe like, oh, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, and as always, got my dad for real point. Mwah. Oh, Sprite. It's my signature no. drink. Uh, juice. You, you got you got fruit punch juice. I had to have my little my little daiquiri. Every time I do these things, this is what I have to have. I don't have to, but it just goes so well to me. Daiquiris and crab oils. She's a Texan lady. Out here we got daiquiri spots everywhere. And uh, hopefully they got them in Atlanta too. <laughs> everywhere. If not, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'd make them my own. I some more rice. Did you just eat that with a shell on it? I'm gonna fill it out. Nicole, <coughs> that's rice right there. Eat it, bite it, taste it. It's delicious. <coughs> Chew it. Um, so, Zari, how do you feel about people on YouTube watching us? Like, how do you feel about the growth of, of our channel? You know, we're growing slowly but surely. I mean, I like it, you know. How do you feel about your friends who watch us? Is it embarrassing? <laughs> it's not embarrassing. <coughs> it's just. Sometimes, um, my friend Mia, she does YouTube. She'll go back like, to my mom's old videos and watch them. Or she'll just watch the videos in general and she'll catch my faces and she'll screenshot them and send them to me. <laughs> and show them to me. And one day, she sent me this picture of like one of my uh, old school photos. I was like, how did you get that picture? Like, you've never even been to my house. And she was like, oh, I just found it. I was like, how did you find it? And then she's like, Okay. Was it the one on the fridge? Uh huh. She said, she's like, your mom was vlogging. It was behind her on the fridge. So I screenshotted it. It's like, okay. <laughs> Don't you nasty. And you drank it. Uh -uh. <laughs> so, hi, Mia, if you're watching, here's something you can screenshot. One thing I've been seeing on YouTube, though, I do see people be like, screenshot your favorite part of this video and send it to us on Instagram or whatever. 
I, my people, honey, listen, I know my audience. My audience is not all up on that. I gotta be active on the gram because the gram is where the people make a lot of money and I don't make none. <laughs> I'm like, none. How do y'all make money on Instagram and Facebook? Somebody hit me to the game. That's rice. She calls shrimp rice, y'all. Okay, you guys, so in my Q&A, not a Q&A, we did like the assumptions video. And I feel like I've never really discussed this with y'all. I just, you know, I just never thought that I necessarily needed to, but I'm not I'm not opposed to, to doing it. I'm not like offended or anything, y'all. So please don't, don't take it that way. But someone asked me about me being married twice um, or whatever. And I answered in that question, that video that I got married to Zaria's father. Um, him and I met in college. Uh, my freshman year, I met literally, oh my God, y'all. I met this dude on the first day of, of school. And apparently I gave him my room number. Like not my, like my room telephone number because we had telephones in our rooms and they were the, it was our extension or whatever. And I think my extension was like 5441 or 5445. My own 5441 and he was 5445. So I gave him my extension and um, I never answered his calls because when you first go to school, dudes is always trying to holler. It's your freshman year, everybody knew, they want to get to know you, blah, blah, blah. So I must have gave him my number. He was cute or whatever. Or oh, whatever. And I gave him my room number, but I didn't really, really you know, realize it. I guess he had been calling me and stuff, I don't know. So one of my friends were like, you know, this a couple weeks later, she was like, you know, this guy was trying to talk to you and he said that, um, you were acting stuck up and you wouldn't respond. And I'm like, stuck up? I'm like the furthest from stuck up. Like I am the, the least, most least stuck up, stuck up woman you could ever meet. Okay. Girl at that time, huh? <laughs> Incorrect. I was looking at the camera like, bro. <laughs> What's wrong? You're not stuck up. You act a little bougie stuck up I'm not sometimes. bougie. I'm not bougie. I feel like to be bougie, you have to be like a certain level financially or something. I don't know or have a certain type of home. I'm not bougie. However, I was like, I'm gonna prove him wrong. I'm gonna prove him wrong. So I proved him wrong, and we ended up getting have a baby and getting married, basically. Oh goodness, y'all! Like zero to one hundred. We we have a completely blended family. And when I say completely blended, we are we are very much adults about the situation. We know that her dad was here prior to the meeting Charles. He will always be here, and there's no need for us not to be adults about the situation. In the beginning, was it easy? No, it really was not, because of course he wasn't happy that I was getting married. And moving on and everything, but I waited before I got into another relationship and remarried or whatever. But he wasn't happy at first. But we had a we had to set boundaries and rules, and we have everybody has to respect those boundaries and or rules. And it comes with her father having to respect that I am remarried, and that Charles is here, and Charles is a great father to his daughter and to our daughter. And she called, and you know, and. Now there's a respect there with him. He can come down here whenever he wants with his wife and his kids. And him and Charles have been together alone when we go to Kansas City. Her dad has family in Kansas City too. He comes around, he came to my mother's services. He's set up there with the family. We just have a truly blended family and it takes a while. And I mean, it's still a work in progress. It ain't perfect. Oh my God, it's not perfect. I mean, there's still some situations that are frustrating. And like, don't think he like just came to come. He was like actually in our lives, so he actually knew the family. So that's why, like, yeah, he, he knew us. We were married. Funeral. Yeah, we were married. So even now, like, when they come in town, they can come over to my house. I have no problem with that. Yeah, that's that's it in a nutshell. I mean, he's been in my vlog before one time, and that is when I, I found out I was pregnant and everything. And he came to visit Zaria. He came with his wife and his kids and his sons. So we truly are like y'all a blended family. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. Now, one thing I would say, I'm not going to have to say I will never front on YouTube and I won't and I won't fake nothing. But I also ain't ever going to put nothing bad on this bad boy either because it's nobody's business. And like, I just feel like people in, in general have their own set of issues going on. So when you come to my channel, I don't need you to get all them issues. I need you to get the real, the holy field. Now, 90% of everything I put on here is how our life is 90% of the time. The other 10%, I'm either mad at Charles or editing. yelling at the girls or I'm editing or I'm at work. No lie, legit. How do you feel about living in a, having a blended family and having two, how was that for you? Having now two dads, you know? It's good, but it comes, comes rough. Why, what makes it rough? So like, um, having to explain when people are like, like, like people ask you questions and stuff. Because and people at your school know that Charles is your dad. Yeah. And then when I see the other, okay. So explaining it and like those kids not understanding what a blended family is, so they're like, wait, 
So, are your dads gay? Like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Somebody has asked you were your dad's gay? You can you can tell when they're gonna ask if your dad's gay. <laughs> really? Say, yeah, well, I have two dads. You, you can tell. <laughs> oh, I never knew that, baby. And so, it's like, no, my mom, like, got married twice. And when they don't, when they actually, like, just don't, generally don't understand and they're ignorant to the situation, mm -hmm. it's not like you can be like, no, 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 this and this and that. Cause like, hold on. Because they won't understand. And also, it's like, especially if your, like, biological father or mother, if they don't live in the same state as you. Yeah. And so they have to travel long ways, or if they have to work so they can't travel. Yeah. Or if they have, like, other kids that they do have to take care of, too. And that's, or the same state as this. Or it's yeah. the harder. Because he doesn't, we have, we don't live in the same state. We haven't lived in the same state in, um, um, nine years. That's crazy, nine years, huh? But he does definitely live close enough. To where we could drive or he could drive. But with this move to Atlanta, honey, it's gonna be far. But you know what, sorry, like with that, also comes a set of like adults who don't understand blended marriages too. Yeah. Like I remember getting a comment from somebody that was in our family that was like, why, when her dad came to like my mom's services, like why is he here? Why is he, here? like that makes me uncomfortable. I don't care about you being uncomfortable. So like I honestly, when it comes to my family, you know what I'm saying? Like I love, I'm a family oriented person, but the first family that comes first is the family in my house. And so the people that matter to me first and foremost, always, all the time, they're the first people that matter to me are my child, my husband and my children, period. That's it. And when that comes, when it comes to Zaria, that means that her dad matters in some instances when it comes to her. Um, her biological father matters. And so when people are like, oh, that makes me uncomfortable. I'm not used to that. Well, it's because you either don't have a blended family or your blended family is not blended. And that's not my responsibility to make you feel comfortable. This makes my daughter happy. This keeps the, um, this, and, and we have to keep him around so that Zoe can get used to knowing that Zaria does have a biological father because in Zoe's eyes, Zoe's three. They got the same dad. And we will always treat it like that. Um, have you ever thought about how you would, like Zoe, what, have you ever thought about that? Like, what's your thoughts on Zoe asking you one day, why do you have a different daddy than me? Have you ever thought about it? I for sure thought about it. Cause like, I was thinking when they even asked my mom, like, what would Zoe call my dad? Like, would you call him uncle or like mister or something? Cause I like, didn't know. What did I tell you? So you, you said like, she could either call him by his first name or mister. Mr. Like his name. How about like what maybe what Zoe like would ask like who is he or like why is he here, and then me telling her that he is my biological dad and then like that breaking her heart, mm -hmm. but her thinking that like we both have the same biological dad. Mm -hmm. Well, and her not like, understand it. Okay, and so that's one thing that I struggle with too. Like I'm still learning as I go, right? So some people I don't take anybody's advice when it comes to my family, and when I say anybody's. I'm open to suggestions, but I'm open to suggestions from people who have been in sim situations similar to mine. So if you have a blended family or whatever, I'm taking all the advice I can get because I'm like, oh my God. Because someone who does not have a blended family will never know what it feels like to be a woman with a child from a previous marriage. And now you're blending this child into this entire family. Or you're blending, you gotta get everybody on the same page, you know? And I think that Charles and I have done an amazing job and I'm just so blessed to be married to a family that accepts my daughter as their own. And I'm so blessed that her and her dad and me, her biological father and me met very young because like, it's almost like we were never married. Like I can't even believe we have a child together, but we do because it's been that long. Zaria's older, so now her most of the communication between him and her happened between them two, so I'm really not in that. Unless it comes down to Zaria going somewhere out of town or whatever with him and his family, then we discuss that part. But I used to be like, well, what would I tell Zoe? Do I wait until she's older? Do I tell her now? I just kind of feel like we just incorporate it now. He comes up here enough, when he comes up here, we make sure that we don't hide Zoe or whatever. Like she sees the boys and stuff. She sees his children, we blend them. She calls him Mr. and his first name. Cause one day she called him daddy. <laughs> she was like, hi daddy. And I was like, uh. and I was like, no, there's not daddy. But when we hang, we'll call daddy. This is Mr. His first name. So I don't know if we're doing this thing right y'all, but it feels right to me. If my kids are comfortable with it, if my husband is comfortable with it, and if I'm comfortable with it and everybody involved is, that's all that matters to me. I mean, I'm comfortable. Yeah. But if any of you guys have any 
suggestions or any like, like not even suggestions, but what are like your stories. And if you don't want to share in the comments, that's fine. You can share it like, you know, in my inbox or whatever of dealing with like a blended family because we've been through it all. <clears throat> and I'm sure we're going to get hit with some other stuff one day where it's like, dang, I wasn't expecting this or we had it down packed or whatever. But if I could give any advice, y'all know I'd be wanting to give advice all the time. <laughs> Mother in me, the cancer in me. If I can give any advice, if you have a blended family, I remember somebody came to me and I know they came from a loving place, but to me at the time it didn't come off as loving. And they were upset that Zaria was calling Charles daddy. Um, <clears throat> number one, first and foremost, we never made her call him dad, that at all. She called him Chucky. That was his name, Chucky. We never said, you need to call him daddy. We didn't force that on her because even if it was up to Zaria, it was her decision. I, she didn't choose for me to divorce her father and get remarried. That wasn't her choice. So I'm not going to force that on her. So his name was Chucky. That was his name. That was what everybody called him. That was going to be his name. I would have probably made her put like a Mr. in front of that, Mr. Chucky. But like, how awkward is that? Like... This like, is my husband, and like, now you come in, Mr. Chucky, like, now this just, it becomes so informal, like, what? No. But you can call him Chucky, though, because Chucky, only people that call him Charles Chucky is, like, his family, so at that point, it's a term of endearment. Um, and Zaria just decided one day, like, this is my dad, and I'm going to call him daddy, because he took on that father figure role. I don't even know how it started. I think I, like, call him dad one day, and I, yo, when she started calling him dad, everybody was uncomfortable, yo. I want to say everybody, not us, man, Charles weren't. But um, like, even his family members our family. Even his family members. Like, don't ever let nobody make you feel bad about that stuff because number one, I don't force nothing on my children. I have a very, I don't have a hands-off approach when it comes to my kids, but I believe in like, you don't want the car? But I believe in raising my children to be individuals. And I believe in allowing my children to make decisions for themselves. And then, then if I feel like that's not a good decision, or it's not gonna go right, then I step in as their parent and say, okay, let's try it this way, cause honey, I'm telling you. But I, I remember distancing myself from them because I'm like, at the end of the day, you can never give me advice about a blended family because you don't know. This is hard for me right now. I don't know how it's gonna make me feel if she decides to call him dad or if she decides to call him this. I don't know, I have to learn as I go. And I'm so glad that I stuck to my guns with that. I'm so, so glad. But. I'm gonna get off that and answer these questions real quick. Oh yeah, if it's, anyone wants advice from me, I mean, you might not, but like, I'm here. What, what kind of advice you wanna give, baby? I mean, for young kids, or if they watch, anyone who just wants to know what it's like for me as a kid, like going through it, or if they just want help on it, like, I feel this way, well, do you have some- So let me ask you this then. How did you feel when you were a biological father and I got a divorce? Do you remember, do you remember that time? Or were you too young? Or? I remember like- Do you remember me leaving Arkansas? I do. I remember like that day, like specifically, because I remember our dog, our dog's nail had got caught in the cage. Oh, I forgot that, yeah. And I remember that day, specifically because of that, our aunt and uncle, well, your sister and brother-in-law, they were, um, they were there helping us pack up and getting our stuff and putting it in the car. Well, my dad, uh, he was like talking to me, like hugging me and stuff. And I was just like, now that I think about it, it was just like, I didn't really understand why mm -hmm. we were going, you know? Yeah, and, we, and she was so young, you guys, she was four. So we really didn't want her to have to even understand that part. And that was hard. Like, it was hard for me to even leave because I'm like, I got this daughter. I don't want to become a statistic. I don't want this, that, or the other. That was so hard. But I knew that it wasn't healthy. And it's not that I was in like an abusive relationship. He never put his hands on me. We didn't have that issue. But we just got married so young. And so it was more of an emotional thing because we were 20 when we got married. And um, we got married because I had got, I got pregnant with Zari. And my mom was like, no, nah, this is how you do it. And growing up, I don't know about nobody else. Growing up in a black church, I can't speak for nobody else, okay? So this is not a white thing. But growing up in the kind of church I grew up in, you better get married. I saw so many preacher's daughters get married back in the day to make no sense on the young. And they wouldn't admit it. And then like, you know, seven months later, you come a baby. But, you know, that was just it. You got married. So I don't fault him for anything. You know, he, he was 20. He was a good young man. Women didn't respect our marriage back then. Y'all. Young women and older women do not respect our marriage. And so for that, I had to save, I had to rescue myself because I found myself being that woman that, y'all heard Beyonce's album, Lemonade, I, I so relate to that whole album, but 
I found myself being a woman going through his phone. I don't got time to be doing that. Here I am obsessed with what's going on in his phone. I watch his every move. Like that, I didn't want to raise my daughter to be a part of that process. And I feel comfortable talking about this in front of her because we've discussed this before. She didn't want me to think that that's okay, that that's how a man's supposed to treat a woman, you know? But I also teach her to respect her father and I give and I tell her I forgive him because we were young and we had no business getting married. And I forgive him 100%. He's not the same man today that he was then. She doesn't fault him for it. I don't. Back then, maybe, but now I don't. I'm like, what? If I had a son, I wish he would get married at 20. Like, no. <laughs> Live your life because you ain't got time to bear her breaking hearts. <laughs> nope. You can date all day. Do not get married. But, um, <sighs> sorry, you and I will have to probably do another talk, sit down and talk about this one day. A lot of people could probably learn from y'all. If y'all want us to do another video like this, we don't have to do much thing. Because <laughs> they're super messy. But if you want to do another video about blended families and like children and stuff who have to do a divorce, let me know because we could do it. Yeah, we could do it. And Charles and I tend to be very open. And because of that, we're raising very open children. Like my daughters can talk to me about anything they want, anything. There's nothing that is off limits because at the end of the day, I'm their first source of everything. And even if one day she does not feel comfortable talking to me about something right away, I want her to know that no matter what it is, she can come to me. So I've told her my shortcomings. I've told her my embarrassing things. I share a lot with my children. Um, I don't share, <laughs> I share a lot with her. And I wonder if his name was Zoe, but I don't share everything, but I share enough for her to know like, you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna be embarrassed to tell me. You're gonna be afraid to tell me. The worst I can do is yell at you and tell you that I'm disappointed. But it's my job not to chastise you, but to guide you in the right direction. That's, that is my style of parenting. But let's get into these questions. This is gonna be a long video. Really? No. Is it going to be a seafood mukbang? No. Yes, it is. <laughs> I, think people, I think people are getting like tired of seafood mukbangs. Someone said, I love mukbangs. Tell Zaria and Zoe, I said, hi, and here's my question. Cheetos or Doritos? Mm, I mean, whichever ones get the cheese on my hands more, so I can buy it out. So which, I say Doritos, because I have to eat like five of them. I say Cheetos. I have to eat like five of them, but not at a time, and then I can chew on my look. Zoe, come here. There's a question for you, come here. A question? A question, come here. A question, sit down. Somebody said, how did Zoe like Chuck E. Cheese? How did you like Chuck E. Cheese? I like Chuck E. Cheese pizza. <laughs> <laughs> that, Zoe, that pizza was good, wasn't it? It was good. Did you have fun at Chuck E. Cheese? I Zoe know. got stuck in the Chuck E. Cheese fun house and Zari had to go get her behind, okay? I mean, I recommend the pizza. I mean, I loved the recycled pizza taste. It was good, it was delicious. Okay, I have, uh, uh, I have TikTok. I don't post anything on there. Like, I got signed in or anything, but like, Ah, never mind, y'all are old. Ah, 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 no, you're not old. Please don't post that. <laughs> please don't post that. I don't mean old, you're just not my age. See, this is a oh y'all think that I was dealing that. with? <laughs> no, I'm posting it because no. number one, Zara has been making me feel old. I told y'all since I was 25 years old, okay? 25, y'all. I'm sorry. No, I didn't say old. I was okay, pause, 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 pause. pause. If you know what TikTok is, put it down below. And you know how I found out what TikTok was? Not through my daughter, cause she don't keep me hip to their game, but because I saw a little boy in the store doing it and his mom was like, let me get your TikTok. It's basically Boomerang for their generation. What's Boomerang? It's on Insta, Boomerang. Like the huh, huh? Yeah. No, it's not. That's Boomerang. It's like TikTok is like Boomerang, no, right? Okay, is TikTok like musically? Yes, it's literally dub splash, mommy. Oh, is that okay? So TikTok is a like dub. Splash. I told you that. Okay, you guys, listen, we're gonna end this mukbang because it is getting very, 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 very long. But I actually enjoyed doing this with my babies. You had a good time? I liked it. You liked it? Okay, good. So I'm glad that um you enjoyed it, and hopefully y'all guys enjoyed it too. Um, if you are not subscribed to our channel, do so now. If you're subscribed and you have not hit the notification bell, hit it so you're notified every time that we upload a video. In the meantime, in between time, till the next time. Bye!